In this example, we want to use the disk method to find the volume of a sphere. And we're going to let r be the radius of that sphere. Okay. So to do this, okay, we have our uh, we have the uh, this piece of the uh, quarter circle, and the region. Uh, if we take this region bounded by this piece of the quarter circle and the y-axis and the x-axis, and if we take that and rotate around the around the x-axis, okay, uh, then we'll get half a sphere, okay. And then what we can do is uh, we can calculate that with this uh, with our volume formula, and then double the result to get the whole sphere, okay. All right, so all right, so we're our 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 half sphere is going to look like this, okay? And so if we rotate this around the x-axis, okay, we end up getting half a sphere, okay? Okay, so that's what this, uh, the, the result of this formula is going to tell us this volume. So we have to double our result at the end, okay? Okay, so for the represented piece, it's going to be here somewhere. Okay, so this is going to be um, our integral will be in terms of x. Okay. Okay, so this is all right. So now we need to get. So we need to come up with the equation for this curve here. Okay, so we can do that by looking at the equation of the circle. Okay, which is. Um, in this case, we want the equation of the circle to be centered at, at the origin, so we have x squared plus y squared equals to r squared. Okay. So if we, uh, so remember, our integral needs to be in terms of x. Okay. So we're going to solve this. We're going to solve for y. Okay. And so that we have y in terms of x. So this is going to be y squared equals to r squared minus x squared. So that means y is going to be equal to the square root of r squared minus x squared. Okay. So this, the square root of r squared minus x squared is actually giving us the top half of the circle here. Okay, it's the top half, but um, but remember, we're only we're going to for our balance, we're going to integrate just from zero to r. Okay. Okay, so our function, okay, so the function for this part will be the square root of r squared minus x squared. Okay. All right, so we have our function. So now we can get ready to, or we can go ahead and set up our integral. Okay, so we have, um, so we have pi times the integral going from zero to r, okay, of the square root of r squared minus x squared squared, okay. So this is going to give us pi times the integral from 0 to r. Squaring this will give us r squared minus x squared. Okay. So taking the integral of this, okay, we're going to get r squared x, okay, because remember r, r is a constant here, and then we get minus one third x cubed. So we want to evaluate this from 0 to r. Okay, so we have pi times, okay, plugging in r for x, we're going to get r cubed minus one third r cubed. Okay, and plugging in zero will give us zero. So this, okay, right, so this result, okay, is going to give us. Two pi r cubed. 
right? However, remember, this is only for half the sphere, so we need to double our result, okay? Okay, so we're going to double the result. To get the volume of the sphere. Okay, so therefore, okay, we have the volume is going to be 2 times 2 pi r cubed. So that's going to give us 4 pi. Or actually, sorry, this is 2 thirds. So, so this will give us 4, four thirds pi r cubed. Okay. All right, and so that gives us the volume of our sphere with a radius of r. Okay, and this will be units cubed. Okay. So again, we did this by taking the piece of the equation of the circle, okay, and forming a so we bounded our region, okay, with this and the x-axis and the y-axis. Took that, rotate around the x-axis, okay, and we calculated that by using this uh, volume formula for the disk method. And then we took the integral, so we set up our integral, took the integral, evaluate from zero to r, and we got two thirds pi r cubed, but then we this only gives us half of the sphere, okay, so then we double our result so that we get the other half.